Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Hoffman and I am tuning in with you live today at Turn of the Century Antiques, which is a doll shop located in Colorado. We love to do doll things and put it on the internet. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. We are doing a lot of things today. And the first thing I need to talk with you about is did you see our video yesterday with the guys? their day in the life. Let me know what you thought of the, the day in the life video. I personally thought it was fun and funny and they made me laugh. And the whole point of the video, and I know that you know this, but the whole point of the video was to entertain you and to make you laugh. So I hope that you got a lot of laughs out of it. I think that the acting was just top notch. It was so, so, so good. And I think they did a really good job. So I am looking forward to more videos from them as from, from their day in their life. It's, it's fun to be a fly on the wall for you. Is it fun to be a fly on the wall where you can just see kind of what's going on and, and, I don't know. When they hang out, I, I, I call it their homey day. Like you guys are going to have to go for a homey drive or go have a homey day because, you know, they're homies, which is friends. So it was fun. And Linda was hysterical in it. Linda was hysterical. One of the comments on the video yesterday was that Linda is our Yoda. And she is the doll shop Yoda. It was so, that is so funny. So I think we're going to have them do more. Would you like to see more of from their perspective of what's going on and what they're up to and what they're doing? There is so much that happens around here that I feel like we could film or that they could film and, and put out there in an episode for you. So I think it was fun. So I hope you enjoyed it too. And hello, hi. If you're here with me, let me know. Please uh, share the video. We are hanging out live here. And this is, we're, we're constantly working on our, on our club grace. It's, it's in motion, but I finally figured out how to turn the video around so that this shows the, the right way instead of the wrong way because it would be backwards. So anyway, the neon sign is so much fun. And oh, one, one thing I, here, let me show you guys. Oh, here, look at, check it, check it out. So we have, we have different modes. We have different speeds. There we go. We have, I don't know all kinds of things i've always wanted it i've always wanted one of these neon signs so this is a lot of fun but we're here to talk about some things now we have a couple of our grace dolls lined up here but one of them and i know it's i, I know it's going to be hard to tell but one of them is a body double can you tell which one is the body double which one which one doesn't belong you know there's one of them that's a body double but you, you can guess. You can guess and let me know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But we are here because I have some fun uh, just updates and some things that we need to talk about as far as the, the dolls themselves. I have been getting a lot of questions about how to pierce the ears or how to what the body is like and things like that. And I did a video a while ago over the summer uh, talking about the bodies and kind of reiterating a couple of the wonderful things that are on the bodies that you can um, do and play with. And I've, I've been getting a couple of the same questions. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to do this one right here. So this right here oh, is these dolls are, RTB 101 bodies, which is, this is the name of the body. Now, several dolls have this exact body, several of them, including Wonder Woman, including uh, just, there's an Elowin that has them. There's, there's several dolls that have the RTB 101 body. My friend Joseph is watching right now, and I know that he can put in the comments who has the RTB 101 body. So that's the good news is that the, a lot of them have the same bodies. Now, when you go on the internet and look for clothes, I don't, uh, I, a lot of you have thought that like I was the only one selling clothes. You can, you can download amazing patterns, but you can also buy clothes from a lot of people. 
and a lot of wonderful sewers. And if you search like Etsy, you can find clothes for the RTB 101 body. And there's some great clothes out there. And I, and I see it all the time and accessories and everything. So if you have one of these dolls, search RTB 101 body and you can find outfits and all kinds of things. Now, here's some fun, fun things about the body. A lot of you know this, but we're, we're going to go over it again. This girl's going to get her hair styled. Her hair, her hair needs to be styled. It's, it's getting, it's getting a little out of control. They come with, they come with wonderful wigs. The dolls from over the summer, the Amazing Grace Blonde and Redhead, they come with nice long wigs, which you can trim and you can style and get them nice and pretty and ready to go. But here's the thing about the bodies. The first thing is these hands are removable. Now I would love to have hands, more hands that are in different positions or like doing different things, would love to have more hands. So I think that that is a really, really good idea. The hands are removable. So like with the Christmas dress, we're, you're out there this way and I'm this way. It's funny. The Christmas dress right over here, whoop, you have to take her hands off to get her arms into the dress. And I, I kind of love that about here. So here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Now, make sure when you put the hand back into the arm that it goes back in and it's nice and snug because we've unfortunately had some people that have lost their hands. So the, the hands come off and that really helps with the ease of dressing. Now the, the arms are nice and jointed. You can do all different things. The arms go all, all different ways, but they're not removable right here. Now we're going to get a little, we're going to hope we don't get, Heather, did you know that? Did you know that Heather? You probably didn't. This is why we're going over it again. So yes, the hands are removable. That helps with very uh, fitted styles, especially with the sleeves. Joseph just commented with all of the dolls that have the RTB 101. So that is Wonder Woman, Mary Astor, Evangeline, Rain, all of the Ryan Roche dolls, Honora, two Elowen dolls. Yeah, so that's a lot. Okay, so Heather, here, this is for you, girl, because we we have a lot of newcomers to our obsession with Tonner dolls. And here's the next thing that, that's wonderful on the RTB 101. Now, for modesty, I'm going to just cover her up with my hand right there. But I do, I do want to show you <laughs> how wonderful the, the dolls are very poseable. So they go back and forth like this. So you can really pose and have fun with them as far as po like posing for pictures and things. But here's the part that I'm sure, now I'm gonna undo her chemise a little bit. Okay, so, do do do. Okay, now we're looking, look look at how, look at how that she can, she can move and groove and do the hula and do all kinds of things. But for dressing, here's a good one. Are you ready? She comes apart right at the waist. Right there, right there, right there. This hooks in right there. Now, you don't want to do this like a million times, but also don't be afraid to do it. If you do it a ton, just like anything that has joints, anything that has joints, the joints eventually wear out and get kind of worn out. So you do, do you want to do it a thousand times? No, but you can, it comes apart right here. Heather just said, what the hell, L-M-A-O. Girl, this is why we're having this video. Okay, so if you are new to all of this, it comes apart right here. This is really helpful for dressing the dolls. Amber said I would be scared to do that. No, don't. you don't have to be afraid to do it. And, and look, there's a little, do you see that little section? And then that little right here, you just line it up right there and then snap it back in. And she's good to go. So don't be afraid to do it. And here's the beauty of, of these dolls is they are, whoop as I show her topless, I love her boobs. She's just, she has wonderful, wonderful boobs that just breasts that fill out her clothes so well. 
I didn't know she comes apart, but I won't do it. You can. She can come apart and don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to do it. This, this is an enhancement. This is one of the reasons why these dolls are so cool is because they come apart. Now, if you don't need to do it, then don't do it. It's, it's so that they can, uh, so that you can dress them easier with certain types of outfits. Jonathan Green just said, don't break a joint. Jonathan Green broke his arm really bad. Let's all send healing vibes and energy and love. And if you pray, prayers for Jonathan Green so that he can heal quickly. We need him back in action. Jonathan, I am so sorry you broke your arm. So uh, let's see, um, is, there, is there still help for those of us on the wait list for Club Grace PJ? Samantha, I will get to that in just a second. Heather said, I wish I could snap my fat ass off. Oh, <laughs> okay, Heather. Okay, that, that made me laugh. Um, yeah, sometimes we, yeah, I hear you. That's hysterical. So, okay, so now we know the arms come off. It comes apart at the waist. This helps for all kinds of dressing. Now, the all of our dolls, except for our wonderful deluxe, Grace, which is right over here. She is a, dolldom said this, and I just cannot agree more. She is a triumph in minimalist design. And I so agree. She is our, oh, not all of our dolls, our very first original, our OG, Grace, and our deluxe girl right here. Those are rooted hair, rooted hair. Hair does not come off, you cannot do wigs. The rest of our dolls have wigs. And you can have a lot of fun with the wigs. You can get wigs. She is generally a five, six size. So there are a lot of places that you can buy wigs. I have wigs, I get them from the Tonner factory. Robert makes them for us. Those are the only wigs I have. But there are other companies out there that have wigs and you're gonna look for five, generally five, six, but some people like smaller than that and then to have a little bit tighter of a fit. There's different ways you can do wigs. Our wigs have little Velcro pieces in them. Do you see the little Velcro right there and then little Velcro on the head? But some people don't like that. You can, you can use like a little wig cap or you can use, there's just different things. Personally, I like the, the Velcro and I have no problems with the Velcro. So Christy said, and good wigs from Facets. Yeah, our, our friend Marsha over at Facets, she has, she has all different kinds of crazy styles, which I love. And I mean, I, I like all, that's the wonderful thing about wigs is that you can just go really crazy. I would like to have like a rainbow wig and maybe a mohawk wig and just all kinds of, that's the fun thing about a wig. James says, I bought four, size four or five at Facets and it fits well. So yeah, four or five. And ours don't have sizes because I just buy them exactly for the doll that they're for. But yeah, so we, we have some fun. We have some fun wigs coming and Robert, I, I, we have, oh my gosh, the dolls that are coming from him are supposed to ship like today, today or tomorrow. So exciting. Heather said a Dolly Parton wig. Oh, oh my gosh, I would love a Dolly Parton wig. Now, for who doesn't love, I love Dolly Parton. She is such a caring, wonderful person. She does not take herself too seriously. If you love Dolly, drop me a comment and let me know. I absolutely love her. She is just, she does so much for others and she will come out and say, I look fake but I have the truest heart. Like I've seen her say that many times. She said once, like, if you see me for the first time, the first thing I would say is, is stop, calm down. I know this looks a little crazy, but there's a real person in here. And I, I just don't think it gets more real deal than Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Oh, we need, yeah, we need a Dolly Parton wig. Okay, drop me a comment if you think that we need to get a Dolly Parton wig. I think we might have to do that. Would Grace look good with a Dolly Parton wig though? You know, Grace looks good. She can do everything, anything and everything. So I think she'd look great with a Dolly Parton wig. I think she, I don't know. I, I, I've never put her in a wig and, and that I didn't like. So, you know, the, the rules are off is the thing. The rules are off with... 
with modern dolls, that is one of the fun things about them is the rules are off. Now, as much as I love my antique dolls so much, we have to we want to dress them in period clothing. So I'm not going to take our Steiner that Linda's working on right now and put her in a gingham jumpsuit. <laughs> my camera is my camera is uh, flipped backwards so that the sign won't show up, but I'm not going to put her in a gingham jumpsuit, you know what I mean? I'm going to put her in period clothing. And that's one of the reasons we love antique dolls. We can learn about history and fashion and the fashion of the decades and of the time. It's it's fascinating and wonderful. The wonderful fun thing about modern dolls is that they can dress in period fashion or they can dress in modern fashion. So it's a lot of fun. So Christy said a Carmen doll with a white wig, a whole dolly outfit said Vicky. Kathy said dolly is the real deal. Let's get a dolly wig. Yeah, let's get a dolly wig. Okay. Okay. Sold. Sold. We're going to do a dolly wig. But then which hairstyle? Maybe we need to do the nine to five like outfit. The, the wig, the outfit, like everything, the nine to five, and we can call it the nine to five, the nine to five set. Okay. We're brainstorming here right now. If you, if you're with me right now, you're, you're, you're part of our focus group. So let's, let's keep focusing and thinking of, of good ideas. Becca said big dolly wig. Oh girl, we're not going to, it's not, it's, it's, you know, the, the higher the hair, the closer to God, they say in the South. And then another one is her hair is so big because it holds all of her secrets. So yeah, we need a wig that is big enough that we could put like things inside of it. Maybe a chicken sandwich, maybe something for later, maybe your purse, maybe, you know, so if you're walking down the street, you can have, she can have her, all of her necessities just right in her wig. I think that would be so much fun. Christine said, put fake bosom in the dress. Oh yeah. Well, you know, uh, she is very well endowed. Maybe that could be like a little add on. We could get like a water bra that, and let me know out there if you remember water bras. They probably still have them, but when I was when I was younger and kind of wanting bigger bosoms, they used to have a thing called a water bra, and you'd wear it, and the the cups were full of water, and it was like having two water beds basically on your chest. Christy said gel bra, a wonder bra. Okay, we definitely need some things. Uh, the thing about it is though, she's got pretty big boobs. She has pretty big boobs already. All we would need to do is just kind of stuff it a little bit because I mean, if, the, if it, he did a good, he did a really good job with her boobs. So I don't know. I, I like a lot of your ideas. Keep them coming, keep them coming. So let's talk, okay, good. All right, this, this will be a good thing for our, for our demonstration right now. I've had a lot of people say that they're afraid to pierce the ears and you don't have to be afraid to pierce the ears. We are going to pierce them right now and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. It's really easy and I know it's really hard because you just got your beautiful doll. You don't wanna mess it up. You don't wanna do anything wrong, but I'm just gonna show you how I just go in and do it and, and then hopefully that will take some of the some of the anxiety off of your plate about piercing the ears. So let's let's see a couple of your comments though. Uh, Grace can go from wild to classy, love that. We need some lingerie for those boobies. Will and Grace did a funny episode for a water bra. The Mad Men Barbie had a padded bodysuit to make her curvy. Yes, yes. She can do anything. When, when I first started with Grace, I'm gonna tell you, I was very conservative about her. I, I thought she just kind of needed to be a certain way. And I don't feel like that anymore. In fact, the more that she does and the more adventures she goes on and the more looks we give her, I think widens her appeal for more people and, and everybody. So when she started going out into the world and people started posting pictures of her in wild wigs or costumes or different time periods, 
or they changed her name to whatever they wanted it to be. I loved that. And so it almost like you out there, you gave me permission to, to expand and do more things and to create different outfits and to do different things. So I'm new to this. I'm new to, I'm new to this as much as a lot of you are. For a lot of you, for, for many of us, this is like our first modern type doll like this. And I know for a lot of you it's not, <laughs> but, but let me know if you're one of those people that, 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 like I didn't, when I got her for the first time, I didn't know that her torso came apart. I didn't know her hands came off. And I, so I've, I know now and I like to share it, but there's a lot, there's just a lot to explore and to learn and to have fun with these dolls. All right, so let's talk about the ear piercing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take her wig off. Now, when you take the wig off, you're gonna notice something, and this is a really cool thing, is that it says Sydney right here. And Sydney, Sydney is one of Robert's most beautiful, incredible, most iconic sculpts of all time. And this is her 20th anniversary. This is her 20th year. And so what, what a way for her to celebrate her, her amazing run than to be the Grace doll too. So when we were talking, when I was talking with Tanner about creating this doll and what we were going to do, we had, we were on a, we were on a time schedule and we had different things and we had different sculpts available. And I thought about it a lot and I chose Sydney because I just think she's absolutely amazing. Christy said, this is my first modern fashion doll. It's amazing what you can do also with, with hair and with makeup. Any person can look so different with hair and makeup. So we made a new doll because the makeup completely changed. And when you change the makeup, it changes your face. It changes your face. And the hair makes such a big difference too. So I just love it. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. Piercing the ears. Now I just use one of these, one of these push pins. Nothing, nothing fancy. Oh, granny boots. You, I, uh, girl, she just said I received my dolls. I have been so, I have been worried about them. I just received my Grace dolls. So happy you're showing how to pierce the ears. Also would like to know if I can wash their wigs. You can wash their wigs. You can, do not be afraid to brush the hair. Do not be afraid to trim the hair. Do not be afraid to basically try anything you want with the wigs and with the hair and, and things like that. They are very durable. They are meant to play. Some people have said they didn't like the, the, the texture and just kind of the way the wig looked fresh out of the box. Once you start brushing it out and playing with it, a lot of that goes away. They do have this very kind of silky, synthetic feel fresh out of the box because they are fresh out of the box and these are synthetic wigs. It is not real hair. There are some wonderful makers out there who do very small batches of mohair wigs for, for these dolls. And those look so good because they look so real. So if you know how to make wigs and you can make like a mohair wig, that would be super fun. But these wigs are great because you can just kind of you can brush them out. Don't be afraid to brush them out. Our glamour girl over here, her hair has tons of product in it when you get her. And that is so she can have the very sleek, sophisticated kind of runway style. But once you start brushing it out, then it just becomes like normal hair. And you just really have to brush it out for a bit. And don't be afraid to do that. It holds its curl. You can just have fun with it and don't worry about it. So let me see some of the... Some of the things that you said. She has gorgeous hair, synthetic or not. I agree. I see, I like the synthetic look. I, <laughs> I, I like it. I don't, I don't necessarily want it to look like real hair. Let's look at, let's see. Here is our original Grace right here. And she is in our Christmas dress. And this is just a really sweet little hairstyle right there. I mean, I just think this looks so good. This is the kind of stuff you can do with rooted hair, but I have seen you out there restyle some of her wigs and it looks so good. So you can curl it, you can do pin curls by wrapping it around 
straws and stuff like that. So you can just really have a lot of fun with it. And you know, don't be worried. If the, if the worst thing that happens is you set your wig on fire or something and you destroy it, that's the wonderful thing is you can just go buy another one. And my wigs are $25. Other people's wigs are about that price. Sometimes you can get them like on eBay and just different places like really cheap. And it's just fun to experiment. So just maybe don't, like if it's your favorite wig, don't experiment too much. Maybe experiment on a wig that that you have for experimentations. <laughs> so just don't worry about it and have fun with it. Just have fun with it. Let's see some of your comments. Becca said, hot take. Sometimes human hair weirds me out, so I'm glad she has synthetic LOL. I like human hair wigs a lot, but sometimes I feel like, sometimes I feel the same. Yeah. Sheila said, I have several modern dolls, but Grace's amazing top of the line. Oh, thank you. She is a lot of fun. Marcy said, arriving late to the video, but looking forward to hearing about all the great tips that I missed. Also thinking a fun comb set would be a nice thing to use. Oh yes, for sure. All right. So let me get to it. Cause I know you guys are waiting for this. You can use a strong bristled toothbrush on her hair. You can use, I have used anything on her hair. I have used combs. I have used, uh, I use combs, like even the kind of like teaser combs that I use on my own hair, I use on her wigs. I just, when I got her and when I just started to play and just do stuff you have to you have to kind of dive right in and try it to learn and just so just have fun with it uh, Samantha said try a small wire pet brush it works great on doll hair yes I like that Heather said I'd love to get some mannequin heads to display my grace wigs now you can get some manic you can make them I have seen some of our members make them you buy the you can buy wooden balls from Hobby Lobby or from any kind of craft store, you can, you might even be able to get them at like Dollar Tree or something. Uh, I know you can get, I mean, they're, they're just very inexpensive and just drill holes in them. And then you can make, you can make like a little display to display your wigs, your hats, make them yourself. Like if you go on YouTube and just kind of search, there is a video for everything, YouTube University, and you can make them. So definitely make them. When there's different things that people say they want, I will usually go in to see like what it takes to get it manufactured and if I can do it and if there's enough room for us to, to do it and if we can make money even after doing it. And for some things, there's just not like the closet <laughs> and the the things for the wigs. Uh, so I think you can make them and it would be fun. Okay. So here we go. Now I would recommend if you had a pencil just to make, make a dot right where you want to make your spot. I've had some people say that they heat up this area with a hairdryer just to make it a little bit more softer, but I use, don't use a needle. One of my sweet friends out there used a needle, but that's too small. You need to use a push pin like this. Just one of these regular push pins. Now I'm gonna do it up here so you can see the motion and I want you to see how hard I have to push and what I do. Okay, are you ready? So I'm just gonna pick a spot. Okay, I've picked my spot. There it is. Now I'm gonna push hard. Do you, can you see, did you see how hard I had to push? Okay, poor Grace, it's in there. And then once I get it in there, then I will kind of move it around like this. See what I'm doing? To make the hole even bigger, just so it, so it makes a big enough hole. And then you just pull it out and her ears are pierced. Right there. Done. Ready to go. Don't be afraid to do it. Done. Let's do the other side. Okay, I just, I just pick a spot and go for it. Here we go, push, put it in. Ugh. Vicky said, it's like being 14 years old again, minus the blood. How many of you got your ears pierced in the mall at, a, at like a Claire's boutique? I got my ears pierced in the mall at one of those little Claire's stores when I was young. I wanted my ears pierced so bad. Okay, so, but now we're doing, we'll just pretend we're in Claire's right now. All right, so you just put it in, move it around. 
Minus the blood. Vicky said like being 14 years old, oh, minus the blood. You shouldn't have blood when you pierce your ears. I don't think. I don't think. So anyway, okay, I move it around, pull it out. Her ears are pierced. Done. Don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to do it. And you have to push kind of hard. And it kind of, go, it, like the hole almost closes up. This hole was, was actually pretty big when I pulled out the pin. And now it's kind of closed up a little bit. So if you have earrings and you can't get your earring in, just pull out your push pin and, and re, reopen it up. Sometimes they don't close up completely, but they do kind of suck back in, if you know what I mean. So that is a biggie. Now, a lot of our wigs, the long ones right here, here's another tip that is fun, is if you don't like the little wispy bangs that they have, you can kind of tuck them back up inside. You can tuck them back up right in there, and then you don't have to have the bangs anymore. So that's just another tip. One of my goals, one of the things that I want to accomplish and have for a lot of my friends out there, for you, is more styling of the wigs. We need to learn more styling of the hair and more styling of the wigs. Are we at this shop like wig experts? No, Linda does a really good job styling them and making them look pretty, but we haven't done anything extravagant. There are people out there that do this, that do wig restyling and hair restyling on dolls for a living. They, there are there are people out there that are so good and they're so good that you send them your doll and they will just do this incredible hairstyle and it's it's amazing. We have a blog coming from Melissa Hoover who does some really great stuff and she styled Grace's hair so beautifully over Christmas. She did a step-by-step -step tutorial for us with photos and just how she did it. It's like 10 different steps and it looks so pretty. So we're gonna be putting that out there. If you want to contribute to what we're doing and, and you know how to do a hairstyle and you wanna do a blog for us, we will we would love that and we'll put it right on the blog. And if you have a blog, we will link to your blog and it's a great way to drive traffic to your blog while helping teach us about something. So don't be afraid to reach out if you have a skill and you want to share it with us. So we're gonna be doing more stuff like that. But when you get your doll, Sometimes the wigs, they are long and beachy and wonderful. You can, don't be afraid to trim them and get rid of flyaways. If it feels too long for you, don't cut it too short, but, but you can, you can trim it. These, these wigs are so long that you could even do like a couple of different braids. And then of course, just going on YouTube and seeing what other people are doing. There is so much talent out there and they post so many good things. So Priscilla said, I pierced mine with what they called sleepers. It was no worse than wearing clip-on earrings. Girl, clip-on earrings, ooh. Clip-on earrings are, are, for me, they're the worst. I have never found a pair of clip-on earrings that did not give me a headache and hurt my ears. The dolls come with their ears unpierced so that you can choose if you want to pierce them or not. Almost every single one of, of Robert Tonner's outfits that he makes for us, they come with earrings and a necklace, almost all of them. And he's never made one for us that didn't. But uh, I, I like earrings and I like jewelry and I like being able to accessorize and do different things. But if, if, if she's not called to have pierced ears in her house, in your house, then you don't have to pierce them. But don't, don't feel bad about that. Now this is looking very sexy. Like she just, she just had a, I don't know. <laughs> we need Chad here. But you can do you can do a lot with the wigs. This used to be up in a in a cute little Linda had it like pulled half back so there's some bumps in her hair. But don't be afraid to just smooth it on out. Okay, what is a sleeper? Uh Sheila said yes, had sleepers to first hole, Claire's second hole. I don't know what a sleeper is. Ruth said in the 80s big earrings were a must so they would often be clip-on and um agonizing. They are I have a couple pairs of clip-on earrings that are so fabulous. You might have even seen them in videos, but I just wear them for the video and then I take them off. I take them off. 
because they're just, I don't know, I've never found a pair that just, I like really heavy, big statement earrings and my ears, let me know if you're the same, but they like the hole will stretch out and they'll get pulled down, which is why most of the time I, uh, I just wear my studs. I have these little diamond studs that I that I bought actually from somebody that came into the doll shop years ago. And that's what I wear most of the time, unless I'm wearing a really fun pair of like fun, exciting earrings, but they're usually, they're usually a little heavy. Okay, so a sleeper, Christy said a sleeper makes the hole in your sleep. Um, ouch, yikes. I think I'll take the, the, just the one shot from Claire's and be done with it. It makes a hole while you sleep. Yikes. Okay. Granny Boots said, what is the dental floss used for? Um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but for us, when we use dental floss with our wigs, we, Linda takes, she'll take half the hair. She'll take half the hair and pull it up like this. Now I'm doing this one handed, so of course it's not gonna look pretty, but she uses dental floss to do like a little half up style. So if she was gonna do this, she she ties it with the dental floss because you can get like a long piece and tie it and then, and then cut it. And the dental floss works really well because it's coated with like wax and something on it. And, you, and it just pulls through the hair really nicely. And then you can't, don't I don't recommend just leaving the dental floss then you'll want to tie a ribbon or a pretty hairstyle or something around it so yes Linda uses dental floss to pull to to pull the hair and to do different hairstyles and it works it works really it's so much easier to just tie it with the dental floss like a bow than with anything else so we 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 try different things but that that is a good one and get the get the one that's coated get get the minty flavor Okay, so let's put her back. The, Samantha said those tiny clear elastics are great too. James said dental bands are great. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways that you can do them and for every people that are out there and thank you so much for giving us tips and trip tricks and comments and how to how to do things I'm I'm having so much fun with this there's a lot of people out there that are styling her hair and trying different outfits and doing different things and keep on doing it and of course tagging me and posting me in it it is so fun so fun so let's talk about club grace for a second have you figured out which one of our dolls is the body double though it's hard. Which one's the body double? I just have water today. I've been going a little, a little much on the coffee. And when I say much, I mean too much. I've been having like six. <laughs> it's a little much. Samantha said, where do you get dental bands? Everything is closed here in Scotland. Samantha, just use dental floss. Dental bands might be a little hard to get, but dental floss you can get at the grocery store. Like almost every place has dental floss. You just pull half your hair back like this and then tie it with dental floss. Actually, this looks really cute. Maybe I should wear my hair like this today, but it works really good. Body double, uh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. We have our cupie, but here, let me get it. Our Cupie is so cute. Now, first of all, this is not Cupie's original body. This body is not the right body for this doll, but it's the, the body she's on. I don't have a, a Cupie body, and so we're just going with it. But look, look at the skating outfit and her little skate shoes. I mean, so cute. So she had to be in the video. This is an antique Cupie by Kessner, probably... 1915 maybe 1920 such a wonderful doll these are just so fabulously happy and wonderful if you've been following her progress on our videos then then you've met her before but they are so cute i love the skates yes we need skates for grace yes we do have you seen the boots i don't know if you've seen 
in in the Grace uh, fan group, I posted a little sneak peek of her moon boots that are so ridiculously good. I don't know if we can. Okay, I don't know if we need to do a preview of that or not. We'll do that soon anyway. Here's here's Cupy, so cute. Marcy said, I love Cupy, so very cute. And Linda did a great job cleaning her up. Love, love, love her. She's so cute. I, I wish we could just have these now and produce them and give them to everybody because I feel like everybody needs a happy little... And you know, the rules are off with Cupy. We, we have put so many different outfits on this doll, but I think the skating one is my favorite. My absolute favorite. Another thing that I just want to point out is that Grace over here, she is standing right ooh, there. I feel like a news person because it's like, it's, it's backwards, but she is standing without a stand. So it takes practice, but if you have the right kind of shoes, you can stand them without a stand. So she is just, she is in her grown up Dorothy outfit, her gingham jumpsuit with the fabulous bow on the back. And she's just standing right there without a stand. I know that the stands, especially when they're not wearing clothes, it makes them feel a little immodest. And by that, you're gonna laugh, but I mean, when she's standing there and she's got, she's got that hanging out of her crotch, like, I get it. I get it. It, it feels a little immodest. So we, I usually, <laughs> I usually, when they're not wearing clothes, I usually have them doing something else and not standing there with the saddle stand. I think that maybe a clearer stand or something might be good. I don't know. I'm looking in, we're looking into some, some different things that we're offering that, uh, that we're hopefully going to offer. I, I'm not making any promises right now, but this was brought up to me and I laughed my face off and then I thought she has a point. Okay. So let me put the, let me put this back, but we're, we're going to work on that. So if you display your dolls with another way, uh, we'll, we'll see it. Um, Chrissy said, get a clear saddle stand. Yeah. I think, I think clear would just help anyway, because you know, that, that's not good, That we're, we're going to have to work on that, but yeah, clear would help. Let's talk about the subscriptions. So the, we're having a lot of fun with the subscriptions and dreaming of what's going to happen and what's going to come and all the things that we're going to do. If you have questions, post them now, but I, I've answered a lot of them. You can always email us, but here's what's going to happen. Now, the when I said February 1st that we're gonna launch all of the registrations, we're pivoting and doing it a little bit different right now. On February 1st is when we are going to launch all of the clothing subscriptions, the deluxe subscription, the clothing subscription that comes with the shoes. And the reason why we're not doing them all at once is because if, and I know not everybody on that waiting list that we have right now, I know not everybody is going to sign up and actually pull the trigger. I know this. And so if we released all of them at once, and then say you were on the waiting list and you were three or four down and then you registered for the accessory subscription, but then your spot opened up on the clothing subscription and it just became a huge mess, that this is what we're going to avoid. So on February 1st is when, you, if you are on the list for the clothing subscription, you are going to get the link to register for that. We are going to give ourselves a day. And a lot of you, and another reason is because a lot of you were worried about your work schedule, your time across the world. And I don't wanna create this like feeling of chaos and panic where you have 45 minutes to do it or whatever. And also that creates a lot of chaos and panic for my, for us, for, for us over here, trying to, trying to help everybody. A lot of you are not so great on computers and I understand that. And so we're, we're going to give it a little, we're going to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. So on February 1st is when we are going to launch all of the clothing subscriptions for the people that don't sign up for the clothing then you forfeit your spot and it immediately goes to somebody on the wait list. We're going to get that all buttoned up on February 1st. And then on February 2nd is we are going to release all of the accessory 
subscriptions. I know a lot of you just want the accessory subscription. You don't want the clothing one, but for, for our planning and just to keep me sane, we're going to do it in, in two tiers. We're gonna do February 1st and February 2nd. And then of course, our digital subscriptions are limitless. I hope a ton of you sign up and enjoy and have fun with this. And those will also come out on the 2nd. So that makes a lot of sense, right? I hope it does because again, I have been losing sleep over this because I know a lot of you are worried about it and I would be too and I get it. So I have to be like hands on deck to, to help some of us here to, to just make sure everything stays straight and everything stays fair. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're just gonna have two days. Now that's, it's okay. You're not gonna miss anything. If you sign up for the digital subscription in three weeks, you're not gonna miss anything. So thank you for understanding and why I would need to do this. I just have a lot of wonderful customers out there that I care very deeply about that have called. Some of us are really good on computers, but some of us are not. And I don't want to make you feel bad or to lose your spot or whatever. Uh, thank you for understanding. I, I really appreciate that. So Julie said, should I send an email for the list of digital or just wait until February 2nd. Julie, if you are joining us on the digital subscription, just wait until the 2nd. Any, anybody out there that's watching, if you were joining us on digital, just wait until the 2nd and you will get the link for that. I hope, I hope hundreds, if not thousands of people sign up for the digital. Now, if you are getting the accessory subscription or you are getting the clothing plus the accessory subscription, we have three levels. All the levels come with the digital component. You don't need to sign up for the additional digital if you have, if you're getting anything in the mail from us. So Granny Boots said, how do I sign up for the digital? We're gonna send you a link. So just like we send you links for literally everything that we have for sale, you will have a link. You can't see it right now, but on the virtual convention website, it's gonna have a grace tab. And then when you click down the grace tab, it's going to have a thing that says subscription products and you can sign up right there. It's not going there it's not going to be public though because I don't we have to we have to keep it, it private for now so that everyone gets what they're supposed to get. I haven't even sent out emails to our main lists of people about this mainly because the spots are filled and I don't want to create chaos. I am or hurt feelings or anything. I am trying to expand it already, of course, but we can only get product. You have to plan months in advance to get product. I wish, believe me, I already tried asking like Ruby Red Galleria, can I get a hundred more pairs of pajamas? And they said, it's just way too late. They had already sourced the fabric. They bought enough fabric just, just for the pairs and they can't, and they couldn't. And, and that makes total sense. And plus they're going on Chinese New Year and just, we can't. So, but, but for the future, of course, we're trying to expand. Samantha said, can we volunteer to help the pl club? Girl, yes, you can. If you want to submit a video about how to style the hair or you have a pattern or you can do a blog for us a picture blog where you show how to do something or you want to do a video on how to paint her nails there's so many there's the sky is the limit so yes of course you can help with the club we would absolutely love that if you do something major for us you will be rewarded too like i um I, I hire people to do different things. And so, wow, this, this, uh, this, I have like all these different lights right now because I wanted my neon sign to show up, but it's getting a little, it's getting a little crazy. I'm moving around too much. Okay. Let me, there we go. So yes, please. If you, if you have a fun idea or you can contribute it in any way. Another thing that we are also offering or entertaining for some creators out there that if you want to sponsor a product to go into one of the boxes, say you make something really awesome and you want your product, your sample to go out there to a bunch of different people and then drive traffic to, to your business that way, you can sponsor something to go inside the boxes too. So if you make a great pair, I, I know it's a lot to contribute, but that is how the subscription service industry works. Like with the makeup, a lot of companies, if they have a new 
a new type of uh, lotion or a new mascara or something, they will send a sample in all of the makeup subscription boxes so that you can sample it and see if you like it. So if, you ha if you're out there and you're a creator and you wanna create a sample for our boxes, we have a lot of time to plan and you can do this. So uh, just, to, just, just, to, just to put it out there, we are working with several different people who are gonna be just doing things throughout the year. For our March boxes, Diana Vining created a fun little kit where you can make St. Patrick's Day themed headbands for her. And so that's, that's really fun. And it was just an idea that she came up with. She found the materials to do it and she, she's made 200 kits already. She has been so crazy busy. So it's just a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I hope that that all makes sense. Uh, I know it does. And thank you for understanding and kind of going along on this journey with me so that we can all just do this together and have a lot of fun. Samantha said, once the shops reopen, I can look for Scottish miniatures for club members. Yes, there's so the sky is the limit. There's so many different things. So if you are wanting if you are in this industry and you or, or you want to start in this industry and you want a way to get your product out there and you can send us a lot of samples. It's, I think it's a wonderful, I think it's a wonderful opportunity and that's, that's how it works. So I'm, I'm looking forward to putting different samples of different fun things in our boxes throughout the year. I, I don't know exactly what all is going to come. We have we have a lot of things in our in our plan as far as the clothing and the accessories and things like that. But I know I know just because I have put it out there, I am attracting it to the universe. We are going to meet some really cool people that we are going to work with this year and do some really really cool things. So if you are thinking about joining the subscription, you should. The digital subscription, the one that everybody gets no matter what level you're on, if you are a sewer or you want to learn to sew or you want to get started with this, every month Tamara Casey from Designs by Jude is creating an exclusive pattern for Club Grace and your membership is only $5. Her patterns she only prices them $12.95. I feel like they're worth way more than that. They are just always so well done, but you will get the pattern every month for $5. It is just, it, it is absolutely incredible. And then on top of it, you get your downloadable paper doll. You get your monthly story. She goes on adventures. You get to read about her adventure. You get to see her camera roll where every month she uploads, and by she, Grace, uploads photos of her adventures and you can see the different things she's doing doing and going and the places she's going and they're they're real photos from her adventures so it is so cool in March she's going to Scotland and I think she goes to a fashion show I'm not sure Diana Vining is our creative director and she is so good at what she does I have just complete faith in everything that she does and it's so fun so we were excited I'm excited. You know, I'm excited. We're gonna actually start putting our boxes together today. We're supposed to get our delivery of, of boxes. This whole venture has been like a new thing that I did not, I was prepared for, but there's a lot of moving parts that comes into it because everything that you order and everything that you include, you need 200 of. <laughs> you know, that's a lot. You need, you need all the supplies. We need all the tape. We need all the labels. We need all the things. On any given week, we have a certain amount of packages, but now, now it's gonna be different. And I'm really excited for the guys because they're gonna get into a rhythm. And this is gonna be something, I think that they are going to have fun putting together and making sure it's right and, and doing it. So I think that's gonna be fun. And then, I'm the one on the other side uh, with the, the club area kind of putting things together and laying it out and uploading the different things. And Diana and I both write a lot of the, the copy that you will read. And for $5 a month, if you're doing the digital, there's just no, there's just no better deal out there. And I, for $5 a month, of course, yes, we need, 
the money in our tip jar. Thank you so much. It helps with keeping so many things, but it really just was an effort to make it accessible to everybody and to give everybody an option. The international people, I love you so very much, but the shipping is horrendous. The shipping is so expensive. And so the digital is a really, really good option for you because any of the printed materials that come in the boxes, you can download just straight on the in the club area. And yeah, I, I wish the shipping was a little bit less, but that has become a little prohibitive right now. Heather said, what are some Tonner male dolls that work as a suitor for Grace? I really like the Prince Charming sculpt. There are, basically you just have to make sure that he looks good. You just have to make sure that you like his look. There's a lot of different Tonner male dolls out there. They are hard to get, they are hard to find, and they were made in small quantities. The reason why I don't just very easily just ring up my friend Robert and say, hey, I need 200 male dolls is because I, can, I can't order 200 male dolls. The male bodies are not in stock. And so if we ordered a male doll, the minimum for the factory to, to start producing a a body that they don't have in stock is a thousand. So that is why, that is one of the big reasons why. And that goes for a, a, a different colored body, a black body or African American body. That is another one of the reasons why. Will we have a black doll? Yes. It is a huge, huge thing that I want to do huge but also you have to have you have to order a certain amount of bodies which means literally six figures of an investment before you even before way before you even get them to your shop and get them to market and get them to sell so yes but i need to i need to have a little bit more i need to have a little bit more traction and a little bit more building of this business before I can do those kind of things. But yes, we have dolls coming that are supposed to get on that boat like today. And then they're gonna be here in like six weeks. So we have a lot of fun things coming, a lot of fun things coming. And of course also we will always have things that you can purchase that are not just in the subscription, okay? So we, we will have box add-ons that you can buy something and we'll, we'll throw it in your box so that you can have a, just a really low shipping on that. And then for people that are not on the subscription at all, we of course will have fun things to offer throughout the year. So we're going to have all kinds of, of opportunities. It's it's a joy and a pleasure to do this and to work really hard to get the products and to do the photography and do the editing and work with my team to get things together and to present it in a way that's fun that you would want to purchase it. I have learned so much about how to do things and marketing and making it fun. I used to not, back in the day, I didn't, I don't think I knew how to make it fun. I just almost felt like I was kind of like in a box and now the box is open. I'm, I'm on a rampage. There's just no stopping us. And it's because we're doing it together and because you and I are working together and we are having fun with this that it's working. So I'm, I want to do this until I can't anymore. And I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep going. So, hey, let's do it together, right? Let's do it together. So uh, I hear that the guys are back there doing something. And I don't know, should I have them film another? Should we do some more? Should we do some more filming today? I think we'll definitely do some either today or tomorrow. But uh, this was kind of a long winded video. If you've stayed with me on the entire thing, you are a super fan and I appreciate and love you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today here at the doll shop. And uh, we'll, we'll have more announcements and just different things that are that are happening and going on and I think that's it. Oh 
scroll. These PJs. If you can find this fabric and you can make these PJs, you know, make them because they make good separates. And when I say separates, I think this shirt is, is so cute. You could pair it with a pair of skinny jeans or some dress slacks and the fabulous heels with the bow on the back and be slaying. I wore my pajamas to Whole Foods the other day and people were kind of looking at me like, but not in a bad way. They were like, I can see it. I can see it. Cause it wasn't like I was going out in icky flannel, not, I love flannel, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, you have those PJs that you've had for like 10 years and they're not ones that you would go shopping for oranges wearing. I have plenty of pairs of those. They're so comfortable, but they're kind of like your more icky pajamas. Like these, these you can just wear and do everything. You're not gonna see me in any airports wearing them because they're not, they're not quite warm enough, but you can. And I think that, I think they might be relatively easy to make if you wanna emulate them. I know our friend Melissa Hoover out there who does a lot of different patterns and things will be able to do it. So it's just a matter of finding the fabric. So thank you so much. I am glad that you enjoy the clothes. Today I am wearing a shirt that is cut that is covered in lips here. I don't know if you can see it, but can you see it's just it's covered in lips. It's it's kind of a fun one. We're getting ready for Valentine's Day. Samantha said I have some similar PJs that I wear out from Zara. Oh, Zara has such cute Zara has such fun things. And if you can get like on one of their great sales, I don't know if you remember when I was in London and I bought that sparkly suit that I wore to the Tina Turner show. Do you remember that sparkly suit? I got that at Zara and it, it was epic. Of course I still have it, but yeah, that was epic. A sequin suit, it was so much fun. All right, if you enjoyed this, please share the video. If you have any questions, feel free to, I, so, sometimes I miss your comments. So if you have, if you have a specific question, don't be afraid to reach out. Don't do messenger, reach out over email. Sometimes I catch your messengers, but I honestly get a lot of like spam and just like weird type messages because I think because my page is public and the amount of friends that I have, if I see, if you're somebody I know and I know it's like a legitimate thing, then I will open it, but I get a lot of, so for my mental sanity, sometimes I don't open it up for two or three days. I kind of have to be in the mood. So, but email is always such a great way to reach us. So feel free to reach out. It's um, info at virtualdollconvention.com or you can do rachel at rare-dolls.com. But if you look on any of our websites, there'll be a contact us button and you can just use the form to contact us if you have a question at all. So that was fun. Okay. We'll see you very soon. Thanks for tuning in everybody.